Good morning, good day, good afternoon, my friends. How is everyone doing today? Hmm? Are you guys doing fabulous? Awesome! Well, we have a lot to learn today, and we also have some dancing to do today. So let's get started with our day. Let's go ahead and work on our calendar. Okay, so let's come over here. And can my friends tell me what day is it today? What day is it today? It is... That's right, it's Tuesday. Right? Is it? Yes, it is. Today is Tuesday. So if today is Tuesday, what was yesterday? What was yesterday? Hmm. That's right, yesterday was Monday. Monday. Now then, what will tomorrow be? What will tomorrow be? Hmm. Hmm. That's right. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Okay, so let's say that together, all three of them. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Awesome job. Now let's head over to our months of the year. Since yesterday we sang days of the week, let's sing months of the year today. So can my friends tell me how many months are there in a year? How many? Five? Mm-mm. Eight? Hmm. Mm-mm. Uh, twelve? That's right, there's 12 months of the year, and since we don't have 12 fingers, what we're going to do is just we're going to use our jazz fingers and go like this while we're singing months of the year. Okay, you guys ready? There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. There are 12 months, there are 12 months, there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March, and April. May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, and December. These are the months of the year. Fill them with joy and cheer. The months of the year. Awesome job. Thank you guys for singing that with me. Now, can anyone tell me what month are we in? I'll give you a hint. It is the last month of the year. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see, I'll give you another hint. That's right, it starts with the letter D. Now, what month is the last month of the year? It starts with the letter D. That's right, it's December. As you can see, Miss Alice is grabbing December off from the end. It is December. December what? Hmm. Hmm. Well, yesterday was the 7th which means today is the eighth. Good, awesome. What year are we in? Hmm, what year? That's right, we're still in the same year. It is going to be 2020 or 2020. Awesome, now let's say the whole date together. Today is Tuesday, December 8th. 2020. Awesome job, my friends. Thank you. Now, are you guys ready to do some dancing? <gasps> Since I had so much fun with you guys yes, last, last week, not last year, <laughs> last week, I want to do it again with you guys today. Can I please? Pretty please? Miss Erin, pretty please? <laughs> Yeah. Of course. Okay, awesome. Yay. <laughs> so Miss Erin is going to guide me again. Let's get ready, my friends. Get, make sure you guys are standing up. Okay. So we're starting with the reindeer hokey pokey. Go. By the kaboomers. <laughs> You put your tail out, 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 you put
I almost fell over because <laughs> the music stopped when I was trying to dip down. Oh no. I like your big Disney finish. Awesome. So, uh, Thank great. you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Erin. My goodness, I had so much fun with my friends. Did you guys have fun? Yeah, I did too. Woo. Now, my friends, after a dance class, if you need to get some water, Go for it. Get some water because we had so much fun doing the reindeer hokey pokey and then our freeze dance. So let's go grab some water because I'm going to need some water too. Okay. I got my water. Let's drink our water together. Ready? One, two, three. Ah. Woo. Now we're refreshed. And we're ready for some activities. Are you guys ready? I have a fun presentation to show you guys. Okay, so let's go grab our rug. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab my material. <laughs> Okay, my friends, so today I have a presentation to show you. And I have, there's something in this box. Can you guys guess what it is? 
What do you think is inside this box? Let's open it and see. It's cylinders, but this time they're blue. Wow. So that means we're going to have to put things in order. Okay, so today we're going to put the blue cylinders in order from tallest to shortest. Okay, my friends, there it goes. I have graded my cylinders from tallest to shortest. Okay, now I'm gonna put my cylinders away. around for a closer look. have our workspace ready. Let's write our name on our worksheet. And let's do the first equation together. 93 plus 1. Ten, 
10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93. Ninety three plus one equals one, two, three, whoops, four, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. Okay, so let's write that on our worksheet. 93 plus 1 equals 94. Okay, let's do 94 plus 3. 94 plus 3. One ten, two ten, three ten, four ten, five ten, six ten, seven ten, eight ten, nine ten, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety. One, two, Three, four, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety one, ninety two, ninety three, ninety four. One, two, three. 94 plus 3 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. So 94 plus 3 equals 97. Okay, so let's do one more problem together. Let's do a big one. Let's do 97 plus 2. This one, 97 plus 2. 110, 210, 310, 4, 5, 6, 7, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97. 1, Two. 97 plus 2 equals 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine. 97 plus 2 equals 99. Okay, awesome, my friends. Thank you for doing these problems with me. You guys can finish the rest on your own. Um, and if you need help, just let our t your teachers know. Okay. So I'm going to put away my material. And I want to thank my friends who've been posting your artwork on our comment and comment box and showing your artwork to your teachers. We love seeing the art that you guys do with us on Facebook Live. So thank you to all my friends who have been doing art with me and posting them on our comment box so you guys can share. I love it. I love seeing them. It makes me really happy that you guys are enjoying these artworks. Okay, so let's clean up our materials and let's get ready for a song. Okay, so I'm going to put my materials away. Roll up our rug. Okay. Okay, my friends. Now, are you guys ready to sing our root song together? Awesome. Let's do it. You guys remember the tune? It goes something like this. Okay, so let's sing it together. It's called Roots. The roots of the plant grow underground, underground, underground. The roots of the plants grow underground all through the day. The roots of the plant hold the plant upright, plant upright. Plant upright, the roots of the plant hold the plant upright all through the day. The roots of the plant take up water and food, water and food, water and food. The roots of the plant take up water and food all through the day. The roots of the plant are very strong, very strong, very strong. The roots of the plant are very strong all through the day. Would you guys like to sing it one more time? Let's do it. Okay, ready? The roots of the plant grow underground, underground, underground. The roots of the plant grow underground all through the day. The roots of the plant hold the plant upright, plant upright, plant upright. The roots of the plant hold the plant upright all through the day. The roots of the plant take up water and food, water and food, water and food. The roots of the plant take up water and food all through the day. The roots of the plants are very strong, very strong, very strong. The roots of the plant are very strong all through the day. Awesome, my friends. Thank you guys for singing the root song with me. Now, would you guys like to learn some words that begin with the blending sound dr, so D and R. So let's go grab a rug. Okay. Now 
I'm gonna go grab my materials. Okay, my friends, so come for a closer look. So remember yesterday we learned two letters and their sound and how they sound like when they are put next to each other. So today I have a series of pictures and we're gonna learn the words of, to these pictures. And then we're gonna match the word to the picture. Okay, so let's do the first word together. Dra e s dress. Dra e s dress. Dra e s dress. Dress. Dra a m drum. Dra a m drum. Dra a m drum. Drum. Dra ink drink. Dra ink drink. Dra ink drink drink Dra ill drill Dra ill drill Dra ill drill drill Dra op drop Dra op drop Dra up, drop, drop. Let's review these words one more time and then we will write them on our worksheet. Dra ill, drill. Dra up, drop. Dra ink, drink. Dra s, dress. Dra um, drum. Okay, my friends, now that we've matched these words to the pictures, let's practice writing them. Okay, so make sure you guys write your name on the top of your worksheet. Okay, so let's write the first word. Drills, drills. Drills. Dra ink drink drink. Dra ink drink. Dra ums drums. Dra ums drums. Dra up. Dra up drop. Dra up drop. Dra s dress. Dra s dress.
dress, dress. Now let's learn, say these words one more time. Starting from the top. Dr, ills, drills. Dr, ink, drink, drink. Dr, ums, drums. Dr, op, drop. Dr, s, dress. Awesome job, my friends. Thank you for learning these words with me. Now I'm going to put my worksheet away and clean up my pictures and my words. Okay. Okay, my friends, so I have another presentation to show you guys. Okay, so yesterday we learned a little bit about roots. We learned that they grow underground and that they need water and sunlight and food to grow. Okay, so today we're going to learn the parts of the roots um, because the roots have different parts, just like us. We have different parts. We have a head, we have hands, shoulders. We have a torso, legs, feet, so do the roots, okay? So they have different parts, okay? So come on over. We're going to do a nomenclature card and show you guys the different parts of the roots. This whole thing is called the root. So the whole system is called the root. Okay. And then we have a primary root. Okay, so primary root is the big root that grows down. Okay. Then we have secondary roots. And secondary roots are roots that grow off the primary roots. So as you can see, the primary roots is in the middle and there are secondary roots that grow off from the primary root. And then we have root hairs. Okay, so on each root, you'll see that there's little like hair-like um, hair -like parts. And those are called root hairs. And root hairs provide the root system a little bit more surface area so they can eat the nutrients from the soil and drink up the water. Next, we have root caps. And root caps are off, they're very tiny, you can't really see them, but they are like a little dot at the end of each root. Okay. So we are going to match the pictures and the words to each of them. So what do you think this is called? Are they, is it the root? Is it the primary root? Is it the secondary roots? Yes, it is the secondary root. Now how about this one? Is it the root? Primary root, root hairs, or root caps? That's right, they're root caps. Next, we have root. I don't know, what do you think it is? Is it root? Primary root? Root hairs? That's right, they are root hairs. Okay, how about this one? What do you guys think this one is? Is it root or primary root? That's right, they're primary roots. Okay, and our last one is the root system. Okay, so we've matched the pictures. Now let's match the words. Root 
root hairs, primary root, root hairs, secondary root, root hairs, root hairs, and root hairs. root caps. Secondary roots. Primary root. Roots. Okay, let's review these together. We have the root system, which is the entire root. We have primary root. We have secondary roots. We have root hairs. And we have root caps. Now let's bring out our worksheet. Okay, so our worksheet says part of the root booklet. So let's write our name so we know this booklet is yours. Let's read the instruction. Practice coloring the parts of the root using brown color pencil. Practice writing the part of the root in the lines given below. Okay, so let's see what we have. Roots. So we are going to color the entire root brown. Okay, so let's practice writing the word roots. Okay, awesome job, my friends. Now let's look at the next part. Primary root. So we're only going to color the primary root brown. And the primary root is the one that grows down where the other roots grow from. So I'm just gonna color the primary root. And the primary roots are usually the biggest root. Biggest and thickest. Okay, so let's write the word primary roots. Primary root, or whoops, Miss Alice added the S. That's okay, you can erase it. Okay, there you go, primary root. Next, it's our secondary root. So let's color the secondary roots. And remember, the secondary roots are the roots that grow off from the primary root. So primary root, secondary root.
Okay, there you go, secondary roots. So let's practice writing secondary roots. the next one. The next one are root caps. And remember root caps are the ones at the end of each root. So I'm just going to draw a little black brown dots at the end of all the roots. And that's a lot. Okay, so my friends can finish coloring their root caps. Let's write root caps. Okay, awesome. Now the last one is root hair. Okay, and root hairs are like hair light parts of the root. So like this. So we're just going to draw our the hair on each root like that. And that's the root hair. Remember root hair increases the surface area of the root so they can drink and eat the water and minerals, okay? Okay, so let's write root hair together. And you guys can continue drawing the root hairs on the root. Okay, there you go. So we just finished our parts of all the root booklet. Well, I hope you guys enjoy learning more about roots. Thank you guys for dancing with me. I had a lot of fun with you and doing some more math, singing our root song, learning some words. Thank you, and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.